Yo, what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here, and hey, I, I reacted to um Mr. Who's a Boss's first ever video, so I figured, hey, let's react to the report of the week's first video. This is so long ago. I looked the same about back then, but we're gonna react to his first ever video posted on his channel. I, thankfully, that YouTube has added the option to look at. You know, someone's oldest videos ever, so let's check this one out. This is called Energy Crisis Energy Drink Review. Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis. Right now we're going to be doing a study regarding energy drinks. We're going to be trying all the main brands. And study regarding energy drinks, guys. Even some smaller ones, like... He's got his, like, a uh, computer monitor on his desktop, it seems. Red Bull. Monster, Rockstar, 5-Hour Energy, and I'll be rating them on three categories, price, durability, and taste. I uh, don't know why I called, uh, did he say his name was Energy Crisis at the start of this, guys? Today we're doing 5-Hour Energy in a pomegranate form. Th those things hit, man. Pre I'm super sensitive to caffeine nowadays. Previously, I have done 5-Hour Energy in orange flavor. Which didn't taste the best. Did last for two and a half hours, but anyway, it's a relatively small bottle, pretty small. The serving size is 1.93 fluid ounces, and the main ingredients are taurine, glucoric acid, and ca uh, caffeine. Yeah, caffeine has to be one of the main ingredients because the ingredients go by the, the stuff that has the most of it to the stuff that has the least of it. At least of the ingredient in the ingredient list. Now, you know, the packaging is small, it's got energetic colors, and the serving size is relatively. Well, he's gonna try three energy drinks? That's a lot of energy, man. Really small. Could fill this glass twice. So let me try it. I have not tried this one before, so. It's... Yeah, you probably should have got a better uh, glass. A bigger glass, like. It's a shot glass. First thing it's a shot, but it's a pretty big shot of energy. I'm noticing now. It's like a purple color, even though the orange one was pink. Doesn't smell as bad as the orange one. It's good. Alright, alright. Looks pretty good. It almost has like that... It, like the color is almost sinking, sinking to the bottom. Wow. Like it's, uh, the uh, watery like thing is at the top. Still watery like. And he poured it so well, nearly full. I, I'm surprised how he hasn't spilled any yet. Doesn't smell that bad. Quite coordinated with that. How, how well he's unable to spill this. Let's taste. Let's take a taste. Alright. You know, to be honest, it's not bad. I'd have to say no bad aftertaste. Yeah, they make their energy drinks super good tasting, not gonna lie, nowadays. I'm actually gonna have to. Then just go ahead and chug, chug the whole thing. Nowadays, the report of the week doesn't even, just takes his first bite and then gives an opinion and then eats the rest off stream. Off a uh, video, rather. Not bad at all. I'd have to admit. This... Beat the orange one. By he likes it. He likes it, guys. By far. I'll be honest. The orange one left this really crappy aftertaste. Now, I'd have to acknowledge that people's taste buds are different. You know, but... I those things, my friend really likes those, but I'm not the biggest fan of 5-hour uh, energy. Are you guys? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just saying, for me, it tasted like you-know-what in the back of my throat. <laughs> this almost tastes like a uh, grape juice almost. Oh, better than that actually. I guess oh, pomegranate like flavor. Not bad at all. I actually I'm gonna have to pour this back in and have another sip serving, I mean. Bro <laughs> If I drink that much caffeine I'll be freaking jumping out the walls for a while, man. Not bad at all, I'd have to admit. So right now I'm doing a live taste test. It seems like, regarding taste, I'm gonna have to give this a 7 out of 10. 
Nice, nice. Now, aftertaste. So he didn't, he didn't give the, he wasn't giving the decimal. He's not giving the decimals like he did in. The, we just watched his taco review. He didn't, didn't give the decimals. Leaving like this, I guess that um, fruity, maybe pomegranate like aftertaste. Not bad. Not as bad. Not I do distinctly remember that. Not maybe not that flavor, but you know they have a kind, they have the same kind of genuine general uh, taste to the five hour energy energy drinks, I believe. Not as bad as the orange one. I mean, now durability. I'm not gonna sit here being filmed for five hours to see if it works for that long. <laughs> so I'm gonna go by the orange one, which I had last night. In regards with that, well. It didn't last for five hours, sadly. It lasted for about two and a half. For me, whenever I drink caffeine, I can't sleep for like a day and a half, man. And you know, but, my, but hey, at least it worked there. At least it gave some energy. In my opinion, it would be better if they named it two and a half hour energy, not five hour energy. <laughs> anyway, classic. The report of the week humor right there. This. I'm not sure if it'll last for five hours. I doubt it. It's probably still gonna last for two and a half hours. So, you know, effectiveness. It's probably gonna last for two and a half hours. I mean, it'll keep me awake as long as possible, but, you know, eventually... Well... If I... Let's say if it was at night, and I had to get up, and after I fell asleep, I doubt I'd be waking up feeling like a zombie, like other energy drinks would. Yo, know, before, when I was super addicted, I'd drink a bunch of caffeine and go right to sleep. When I was uh, drinking energy drinks all the time. I remember one day, I got like... I had to go to the hospital because of my heart from energy drinks, man. It, it really hurt my heart one day. I had like a really high, high heart rate, guys. That's wise. This, I believe, was two for four dollars. So, you know, each one would be... They still sell it for that amount as well. Two dollars. Fifteen years later. Oh, it's this little thing. Which I guess isn't bad. And if you think about it, this is like a mini caffeine shot. Per se. Basically, yeah. Bunch of sugar. You can buy caffeine powder. Actually, no, they don't really sell it no more. Make your own, but... Pretty much, yeah. I, I buy G Fuel. I buy G Fuel, guys. So, I mean, two dollars for each one. You know, it's not... As bad as it's not as putrid as the uh, orange. You said putrid. I used to use that vet vocabulary word a lot as well, man. Went, but, you know, it's, it's I think it's worth its money. You know, four dollars for this little guy. I think it's two dollars for two of these guys. I mean, anyway, I think it's worth. This is the video that started a legacy with the report of the week, guys. He has really changed his business model that much at all. That much at all. Personally, I looked at the social blade still making at least like 5k a month of doing what he's doing. It's worth it. And that's enough to live off. All right, this is the crisis, the energy crisis, and uh, huh? Next week we'll be doing uh. So he might have called. He might have called himself Energy Crisis back in the day. I, I don't know why he's saying that, but monster or this little thing. It's like this small brand name figure out. Oh, it's called Bolt or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a good day. But yeah, guys, that was Report of the Week's first video. You can see how much... It looks the same, kind of, just older. Um, 12 years ago was his first video, guys. Remember when he was first blowing up. But yeah. 12 years of Report of the Week's... Oh. He actually made a video where he reacts to his first video as well. Did not know about that. Let me show you guys. He actually made a video doing it. So, yeah, we'll keep reacting to people's first videos. Um, let me know if you want me to react to anybody's first video in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, everyone.